So what do you do now? Oh, you'll throw it in two, okay? And you'll skip three and then four, five, six, seven. Oh my God. Oh, reverse. And then what do you do? With one leg. Oh, super. And now what next part? I am kind of liking this game. So what next? Next part? Oh, you want to throw it in three. And you don't want to leave your balance also. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Now, oh, oh, four, five. And then you go to two, one, and oh, <laughs> that's a nice game. And now the next one is number four. And what do you do now? Number four now, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let us see. Uh, number four. Let me see how do you drop in number four. Oh, perfect. And now, see number four, number four, number four. Number four, number four, number four, number four, number four, number four. Number four. See number four. Four. See number four. Four again. The perfect four throw. All right, now let me see how you play. Oh, okay. You come to five and you pick it up. And that's understand how to play. So I think part uh, how we play is we throw in number one, correct? We throw in number one. And I think the first rule is we don't step on number one and on the way back we pick it up from number two. Correct? And the next and the next rule is uh, here in the number seven and number eight and four and five, you keep both feet. Correct? And the third rule is if you get the if you have to throw the number in number four, then you go to five uh, and then no you go to Five, six, seven, eight, and then you come back eight, seven, six, five, and then you pick it up from four with one leg up, and then so in all these numbers you have to keep one leg in the air, and in four, five, and seven, eight you have to keep both your feet down, right? Oh, now I got the game. So what do you do once the number eight gets over? Do you come back reverse? Do you do it all over again? As in like eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Superb game. And what is this game called, Part? Stapu. Stapu. Quite a wonderful name, I must say. Okay. So carry on with Stapu, and uh, hope you enjoy the game. All right, and go play. So this is what you do during your uh, holidays part? Yes. The holidays to stay fit and indoors. It involves skipping and to be healthy. That very time is our story. Okay. Story is about the ant and the grasshopper. So once upon a time, there used to be an ant and a grasshopper. And you know what? Are, what is the characteristics of the ant and the grasshopper? So the ant is supposed to be a very hardworking animal. Whenever you see an ant, she's always working, trying to find food, collect food, and take it to their place. Whereas the grasshopper is supposed to be a jolly, playful animal. You usually don't find a grasshopper, you know, working. So the story is about the uh, the grasshopper who used to keep playing and playing and singing and dancing all the time, whereas the ants they used to keep working, working, working because they're very organized. They keep working like a proper organized society, just like in your school. You know they walk in a straight line. You know they keep working. They maintain discipline. They have just like you have a monitor. They also have a queen ant who's governing their activities. So they always abide by them. Whenever you see, they always 
keep on collecting some stuff you know and keep helping each other once there was just one aunt who was trying to work but she got tired and she could not lift the food items so the grasshopper saw him he was playing in the ground and he said why are you working so hard so he said the almighty has provided us with all food on every tree around us then why work so hard and let just eat and relax and have fun like the way i am doing and the grasshopper started playing stop working like those dumb ants and the ant was very angry and very curious so he said come on let's play and the ant also started playing with them and da- started dancing with the grasshopper and while he was enjoying and dancing and playing they got really involved and forgot that you know the other ants were working right so he saw all those other ants coming and you know uh, working in a straight line and while this one ant was playing she saw the queen ant looked at her and stared and suddenly the ant she got scared and she ran away and she she walked away you know to start doing the work just like when your teacher comes so this queen ant comes and says it's a grasshopper the food that you're enjoying today will not last for long please realize that well <laughs> the grasshopper said where is so much food going to go it's going to be here forever so the ant said no but once the winter will come you'll know how difficult it will be to gather the food because so you today what you have would not be there in winters and you will starve in winters so till but the grasshopper said but till then let's all play and dance and feast on the food and he did not listen to the queen ant queen ant you know gave her the advice but she thought he is not going to listen so she walked away so the other ants took her away and the grasshopper you know what he did started playing all over again just like when you know somebody says you know study 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 and you don't study and you just keep playing even when your exams are approaching <laughs> you just want to play and play and then you know what happened you should always study in times not just at the last hour before the exams so when the winters came you know what happens in winters all the pl- all the leaves fall down and there are no le- no leaves on the trees there's only snow everywhere there is nothing to eat so this grasshopper was trying to find food but he could not he says i feel so hell- hungry and helpless and tired i haven't eaten in days because in the winters there's only snow there's nothing else there's no plant there's no leaf nothing so he was just trying to search for food and then hungry and tired he saw a house of ants and he tried to run there and he fell down right right outside the gate because he did not have the energy to get inside you know what happened you know what happened after that do you think that grasshopper died in the cold because he was hungry <laughs> yes because the ants saw saw him and the ants came running outside and they and you know so many ants came out and took him inside the, the cold because if he had he if he was left outside he would really die they gave him food to eat they gave him the bed because all these ants at the year round collected the food at their homes right that's what they were working because they knew the winter was coming and then the grasshopper got well and said thanks for all the help and i have a lesson that i've learned listen to you back then i had i learned listen to you back then i wouldn't have been so miserably hopeless and hungry right now so you know what is the moral of the story you know with the ants help he got the food that he wanted he got the shelter but he had no shelter in the winters because he had not saved anything for the time the for the winters so the the story's motto is or the moral of the story is you should always work hard as if there might be a bad time tomorrow just like in corona you know people had people not saved their money and this corona had happened they would not have food and money to eat and live right they getting poor right so that's why it's always said that you should always save some money 
for those bad times that might come any time all right that's a good lesson so from now you would start saving some money and you would study you know on time and not leave everything at the last hour give me a thumbs up if you understood all right where does monday come before sunday and the answer is in the dictionary what has four legs but can't walk like my game riddle and story then please like share and subscribe and hit the bell icon then i'll bring something exciting in my next video till then bye